Hello, and welcome to Doha Tan. I'm Oliver Slow. On January 31st, thousands of people in Kayin State gathered for the 70th Karen Revolution Day, which commemorates the start of the decades-long war between the Karen National Union and the Tatmadaw. This week, Doha Tan speaks to KNU leaders and Karen civilians about their hopes for peace in their home state. Here's the full story. January 31st marked the 70th anniversary of the Korean Revolution Day. One of the largest ceremonies took place at Law Ki La, in territory controlled by the Korean National Union and close to the Thai Myanmar border. Several thousand Korean people attended, many dressed in their traditional attire, to witness speeches by KNU and government officials, as well as a military display. Among those to speak at the ceremony was KNU leader So Mutu Seipo and Kayin State Chief Minister Nankin Tui Myint. So Johnny, commander of the Karen National Liberation Army, the KNU's armed wing, urged the crowd to have patience with the peace process that has faltered in recent years. One of those who travelled to the ceremony was Balu Sidhu, who was born in Kayin State, but fled to Thailand several years ago to escape conflict in his home village. Celebrate my Korean Revolution Day, so I'm coming. Yes, it is very special, very nice, yeah, better than before. For decades, the KNU was one of the Tatmadaw's fiercest rivals, but in 2012, it signed bilateral ceasefires with the Naypyidaw government. Then, in October 2015, it was the largest ethnic armed group to sign the government's nationwide ceasefire agreement. Balu Sido said that the situation for Karen people in Myanmar was better than before, but they wanted to stay in Thailand, where there are more opportunities for work. My mother is living in my village. I, I'm coming a lot in uh, Thailand. Sometimes after I finish our school, I go back to my village. Because the members of Burmese did not go in my village. Or when I was a child, Mostly Burmese people, Burmese soldiers are going to my village and uh, kill the many people. Here. There have been several challenges in Kayin State since the ceasefires were signed, including continued fighting and displacements, as well as land confiscations. As a result, many Karen people at the ceremony said they were beginning to lose belief that the peace process would work. Namei Luin, a colonel in the KNLA, told the Vatan that the ceremony was an opportunity to urge the Korean people to believe in the peace process. We have to negotiate to continue because the peace process is only five years old. We need to negotiate and continue. Maybe it will take time. We hope you enjoyed this edition of Doha Tan. This program was produced this week by Oliver Slow and Zani. You can read the above-mentioned news and other articles via Frontier Myanmar's website and Facebook pages, and you can share your thoughts on these pages. Please stay tuned for next Wednesday's episode and visit the Doha Tan Facebook page. The project to support human rights reporting is a partnership between Frontier Myanmar and Fondation Hirondelle, funded by the Embassy of the Netherlands in Myanmar. Thanks for staying with us, and have a nice day.